Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we are going to start the build process of the Tamiya Mad Bull. Now, I am going to add one upgrade to this vehicle, which is a set of ball bearings. So there we go. So first, I thought we might just go through the manual uh, before we actually get started on the build. Now, I think I mentioned this on the unboxing video that the funny thing about this manual is it hasn't changed since uh, they first came out because it still has the blue coloring. I mean, the manual inside, it's not just the, you know, shades of gray. It literally is like my old Blackfoot uh, manual where it's blue. All the numbers, everything, which I think is so cool because that's what I remember about Tamiya manuals. So, first thing we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to need to get the main DT-01 chassis out. We're going to put in the steering linkage, and if you remember, it's already pre-built. Uh, so we're going to do that in step one. Step two, attach the arms and the linkage. Uh, we're going to attach the bumper in step three. Uh, attach the front uprights in step four. Moving on to step five, we're going to attach the front dampers. And again, those are already pre-built with this model. Uh, then we're going to build the gearbox. As you can see, keep going. We're still building the gearbox. And we've got the uh, differential that we're going to build in step nine. And then 10 is putting the uh, gearbox halves together. And then we're going to work on putting the motor on uh, and getting that set and then attaching that to the gearbox in step 12. And then you can see in step 13, we're going to be working on the battery holder. Uh, and then in 14, we're going to attach those rear dampers. And 15, we're working on the steering servo, getting that all set up and attaching the, the plastic framing you can see that's needed in order to attach these items. And then step 16, we're gonna get the, well, well, you see, they're talking about the CPR unit. So that's interesting, but that's okay. We're gonna be making an adjustment because this is the electronic speed controller. Um, but we'll take a look at that a little closer when we get there. Um, and you can see they're still talking about this. So depending on what your setup is, uh, CPR or electronic uh, or ESC. Uh, then we're gonna check the RC equipment. Uh, 18, we're going to, what are we going to do at, when using AdSpec Sport RC? No idea. Again, it's a servo thing, but we're, you know, we'll get to that step as we go along. Uh, step 19, we're going to attach the servo savers. Step 20, attaching the uh, battery stay. And then 21, we're going to be working on the wheels. And as we also know, the wheels are already pre-mounted in this model. And then in 22, we're going to do the same thing, attach the rear wheels, and then we're going to get on to the painting in step 23. Uh, and because the body comes in white, we're going to paint that black because I am going to do this uh, box art. And then, of course, we have all of the stickers and then the final touches in step 25. And then, of course, they're talking about the options because you can add the oil filled shocks, etc. Um, but that is essentially everything that we've got to do in this build. So, I think what we'll do is we'll now get started with step one, uh, which is working on that chassis and attaching the steering arms. Okay, so for step one, attaching the steering arms, there is the DT-01 chassis, there is the mounting brace that we're going to need for the front, and then we have to put the steering linkage inside. Well, there's the steering linkage. It's already pre-built. It just came just like that. So that's all got to slip in pl into place um, and then gets locked in with this piece right here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so you can see here that we're gonna take this and in that same position as what you see here, this is gonna slide through and then we're going to attach it to the top with one of these tapping screws. So you can actually take it through the underneath or above, it doesn't really matter. Slide that on. 
So then those two are like that. You can see that's ending up being the movement of all of this. But we're gonna take one of the tapping screws and screw it in. Sure that's correct. So that is that. The steering linkage is in. Everything's there. So very curious. I mean, this is very unique. That's for sure. I've not seen anything like that before. So um, that's done. The only thing. So what we end up having to do now is we put on the front body mount, which literally you just take this and slide the that one piece underneath. So it kind of it kind of snaps into place a bit. And then we take those other two tapping screws and screw them into the top. So I'll just go ahead and do that. It'll be easier off camera. And then uh, we'll come back and move to step two. Okay, so these are down. They're nice and tight. It's ready. So that is the end of step one. But, you know, I just realized here's another interesting thing about this model. A lot of the pieces aren't on parts trees. So it's much easier. Like we need these arms, well they're in this bag. And they're not, they're loose. So these are all the pieces here, but they're already off a parts tree. So we don't even have to do any cutting. So again, that's another weird part. So this is definitely something that I guess is designed more of a beginner build and you don't even have to do that. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll just grab these and I'll go grab the screws we need and we'll put these on. So it turns out I was getting ahead of myself. These screws have nothing to do with two. They're for step three. So for step two, you couldn't get any simpler. Um, you can see here that there's a right arm and a left. You can see the right there. You can see that the flat is more at the front and this curve bits at the back. Well, all we're going to do is take that, put it into that hole, and snap it into place. I'm going to grab the other side now, put it in there, slap, snap it into place. So, there we go. There are the front arms. So, step two is done. So, now we move on to step three, which is installing the bumper which obviously in doing so, it's gonna hold those arms in place as well. And then those are the screws that we need to put this on. And of course, the bumper, once again, it's not on a parts tree. So there's the bumper. So I'll just screw those in and we can move on. So before I screw this in, I just thought I'd show you this. You can see that on the back side of the bumper, there's these two pieces and what it means is that when you put this on, you can kind of see the two pieces back there. They kind of snap around the arms, which definitely hold it in place. So without those, they'd still be flopping around. So once that is screwed down, those two pieces more or less are holding them in line. So again, I'll now just screw these in, It'll be easier off camera, and we'll move on. Okay, so there is the finished installation of the bumper. And you can see actually on the back side, the two spots where those arms went in. So everything now is locked in place. So what we do now is we move on to step four, which is attaching the front uprights. So we have the pins and we'll be able to take this and slide this into here and put the pins into those front arms. So I'll grab the grease and we'll grease those up and put them in. Okay, so let's grease one of these guys up. Uh, putting on a fair bit, I guess, but that's okay. Any of the excess I can always wipe off. And then we're going to take one of the arms, 
put that through there, put that through there, and then we're going to screw it, screw it in. is in. I will do it a bit more off camera just to tighten it up, but that is in. We can do the other one. Same thing. I don't mind being liberal with the grease because it is a wear point and you want things moving as smoothly as possible. And same thing, get that in there. Wipe my hands a bit. And then... Perfect. So I will just off camera just check to make sure that it's all um, in correctly. I'm not going to over tighten because it could cause some binding. But there we go. There are the front arms ready to go. So I'll just do the uh, check just to make sure and we'll move on to step five. Okay, so I checked everything out and I only needed to screw this in a little bit further, uh, but it's all nice and tight, no binding. So we are ready to move on to the next step, which is step five, which is now uh, attaching the front dampers. So I'll grab all the parts that we need for this step and we'll put those on. So I've pulled everything together, we've got the screws, and inside this bag there's actually a different looking bottle than I've seen for the grease that they want you to use for the pistons in the springs. This little bottle of grease right here, uh, it's not typically what it would normally look like, so that's that. And then of course we've got our shocks, which are already pre-built for this kit. So obviously that since this is the front shocks, we're gonna grab the smaller ones because the longer ones are gonna be for the rear shocks. And then you can see here, they want you to pull this up and then grease the pinion, the, the, or the piston, I should say. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and attach this to the arms. So for this, we're gonna take one of the shocks, we're gonna pull up on the piston as they show, as it shows, and then we're going to grease the piston. Probably got more on there than I need. I just want to make sure that there's enough, which there is. So, I mean, there we go. And of course, if for some reason it wasn't, you could actually do this on the car once it's been built. Um, but that's that actually feels pretty good. And so we'll do the same thing with this one. I'm going to pull that up. Squeeze and grease this up. And that feels pretty good. It, I mean, it felt pretty good before having that since the, these are pre built, but you can feel that there's not as much resistance. Um, when you're letting go and um, you can just sort of feel it. So those are done. 
I'll put that away. We're going to be using that again for the for the rear shocks. But they are ready to install, so we'll get this set up to do that. So according to this, the longer screws, the longer step screws, the uh, MA3s, are what we use at the bottom. So, and the, the way the instructions are, they're showing you that the screw faces forward. So if I grab one of the longer screws, we stick that right here, push that through, and it's gonna screw into the back side of the gray uh, plastic of the arm. So we'll screw that in. And then grab one of the smaller step screws, the MA4s. So we're gonna take that and screw it into that body mount that we put on earlier. So we'll grab that, stick it in there, stick it in there. screw it in okay so there is one of the front dampers in place so I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side and we'll come back and uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so there we go. There is the front suspension fully completed. I kind of like the red shock, so that is done. So now we are going to move on to uh, the next step, which is step six which is the counter gear, but this whole section is building the transmission and, the, and putting the, sec, the, uh, the two halves of the uh, gearbox together. So I'll pull together everything that we need for step six and we'll start the build. <laughs> 